Hey guys, um, and today I'll be doing another tutorial, and this one I'll probably I'm gonna create like a simple 3D camera. Um, basically you will need to know your matrix stuff so you understand what I'm doing. If not, then just go study it first and then come back. I mean, it isn't really too hard anyway, so it's not that difficult. So. I'll show you the how the end the final process or final product whatever you want to call it. I'll show you right now real quick. So this is what you can get. You move side to side. And you rotate. So that's what you can be getting. So let's start it. Uh I created like a, uh, I created another project just you don't need to do this, but I just did it so you, I can show you guys. I'm gonna go by step by step. So <clears throat> I'm gonna create a new class. Hold on, a class. I'm gonna call it camera. Common sense. Alrighty. So in here, I'm gonna. Include some files. Include 3D Math the H. You're not gonna have this file. It's, it's a file. It's um. Oh yeah, file. Yeah, file that I created. I mean, not that I created, but that I have. And basically, that's where I have all my vertex, my vector three classes, and my matrix classes. So whatever you have your matrix classes is included in your vector classes. And just in case, let me include my math the H. Alrighty. Um so we're just gonna create some Let's gonna go back. Let's go inside the camera class, and we're gonna create our view map and projection map matrix. So, so let's whatever you call your matrix class, just call it minus T matrix. Four by four, and I'm gonna call it M view map. <clears throat> create and declare another one, and let's call it projection matrix. I'm gonna call it pro proj mat for short. Um let's see. You're gonna have a vector three. That will be your camera position. I'll declare another vector three, and that will be your look at. That's basically where your camera can be pointing at. Or looking at, I guess that's what M look at is supposed to mean. Create another one, call it the vector three, and call it M axis. This um, M axis basically is going to be the axis that where the cameras can be rotating. So you probably call it, you could call it the axis rotation, I guess. But I'm mean, just going to call it M axis. Create a float variable and call it M rotation angle, and this is basically how much the camera will be rotating by. And then we're gonna declare some boolean values. You don't have to do this. It's up to you. But this is for me is to control the camera. So with the with the input, you will, you will see it later. So I'm gonna use the WASD keys and I a WASD is to move the camera side by side to side and into into the screen and back to, into the screen. The IJKL basically is gonna be the ones gonna be rotating the camera. I always get this. I don't know why what the heck. I think my recording thing is making it low. So, anyways, it's gonna be I, J, and L. And then we will go to the public, and we can declare some functions. This one we can uh, re make it return a matrix. And return our projection matrix. So I, I may get it get project matrix 
proj mat, I guess. And we can declare some values in here. Call in a float, and that and it'll be our FOB, and that's our field of view. Our another one is called it float, and that'll be their aspect ratio. And then we'll be a, declare another one that will be our near plane, and then the other one for our far plane. Make another one, and that will be the update or our camera, and pass in a flow DT for delta time. Uh, let's see. Let's put it up here for this one. This the, um this will return our matrix our view mat. So to declare another one that will return a matrix and that will get our view mat. That one will not have any values in there, so don't don't worry about it. You could if you want, it's up to you. Okay, and then we can have these two other functions you don't really have to put in there, but this will be our camera input where I'm gonna be getting the input so I'm just gonna call it an event handler handler and I'm gonna pass in an int and ASCI basically that will be your our input when you can pass in you will see it when I show it to you and actually this is gonna be an event handler down and this is going to be event handler but like I said you don't really have to put it in there whatever you can wherever you pass in your input then you could do that uh, well basically you know what I don't really need to show you this but basically this and this goes together and this and this functions right here is going to be setting our boolean values to true and false and that will be updating our camera with the input so whatever you're doing that then go go ahead and do it I'm not going to show you this class is the most important thing that I'm going to show you right now is just basically the update and these three functions including the update I guess 